How you doing, Mystical Forest? Well, it's your best buddy, Superman 1983-7. You missed me, haven't you? you can tell. Anyway, you are making a video, or made a video, sorry, if you were making one, I probably hadn't seen it yet, but you made a video for Buck Nasty. And, um, he made a simple statement, which you took off and just blabbered your way through apparently 10 minutes of video. Now, all he said was, now listen to me on this one, all Abrahamic religions believe huh, in the same God. Right? That's what he said. And then all he said after that was, epic fail. Which, I don't have to agree with him. That is a big epic fail. So, anyway. You got right off me. Man, your panties got so bunched up off this. I, I, I don't even know what to say to you. So, Mystical Forest is sitting there in his panties. They're all bunched up right up his crack. Right up his hairy crack. And... He wants to prove that, no, this isn't true, because this is Islam a lot, right? And the religion. He doesn't want any ties to Islam, to his religion at all. Judaism, that's, that's part of Abrahamic religion. Islam, or not Islam, but the Quran, that's part of Abrahamic religion. So, but you didn't like that, and you said it wasn't true, which... It was probably verbatim off of that video. So, let me give you something. Go to Wikipedia and type in Abrahamic religion. That's all you gotta do. Abrahamic, isn't that awesome? That's all you gotta do to study on something? Oh, you're crazy. I can't even believe you don't do this stuff. So, why are they all related? Easy. I'm gonna read it for you. Right off. Wikipedia, because you can't read apparently. In religion, Abrahamic religion is the designation used for monotheistic faiths, emphasizing and tracing their common origin to Abraham. Yes. Judaism regards itself as the religion of the descendants of Jacob, grandson of Abraham, the direct descendant of Shem, whoever he is, because I don't know. But I'll find out, because I study stuff, right? Yes. Direct descendants of Shem, the favorite son of Noah, don't have to look it up anymore, that's the son of Noah, who founded the human race following the flood. Christianity began as a sect of Judaism in the first century AD and rapidly evolved into a separate religion with distinctive beliefs and practices, notably its replacement of the Jewish idea of an exclusive ethnic religious community with an inclusive universal community, the Christian Church. Ooh. Islam was founded by Muhammad in the 7th century CE. Upon the teachings in the Quran, which draws on Judaism, Christianity, and the native Arab traditions. All right, so it's it draws all its conclusions from Judaism, Christianity, and native Abrahamic traditions. Right, right, right. Can't argue with. Me. Good. So it was founded by and the retain. It was founded by. Muhammad, yeah, we know that. Um, after the Arab traditions, its distinct innovation was to retain the universalism of Christianity while replacing its complex concepts of the nature of God, a deity who is simultaneously, sim, sim, can't say that right now, but I just did. So, simultaneously, one God, and three at the same time. Mm -hmm. So, so what do we do? We've got Christianity while replacing its con, con, complex concepts of the nature of a of a of God, a deity who is simultaneously one and three, with a clear monotheism. All right. So he, this God is one of three, or three and one, but still referred to as monotheistic. So that's all great. So now you know 
why they're all in the same junction, right? Now, before you can start a religion, whether we call it God, all right? We call it God because we're English, right? Right. Well, that's great. Good. We agree on that. It was beautiful. All right. Jewish people call him Yahweh. Why? Because Yahweh is a good name for God in, Jew in the Jewish language. All right. Now, Allah. Hmm. Why do they call him Allah? Probably because it's the Abrahamic word, or not the Abra the Arab, Arabic word. There we go. Got it that time. Arabic word for God. Go figure. Our God means God. Good. The Jewish God means is Yahweh, but it's no different. Yahweh and our God are the same God. Wait a minute. That means Allah, if it's Arabic for God, must mean that it's the same God. You idiots. <laughs> so anyway, let's go down. Because I don't got much time to make you look like an idiot. So, we'll pass the entomology, common aspects, which, yeah, no, I'm not going to go into common aspects. The significance of Abraham for Christians. <laughs> and, no, not going to do that. God and Judaism, supreme deity. There. All right, let's do a little bit of Muslims because we're picking on men. God in Islam. There's only one God in Islam. Allah is the Arabic, Arabic word for God. Told you. Used by all Arabs of all faiths, Islamic tradition also describes the 99 names of God. These 99 names describe attributes of God, including most merciful, the just, the peace, the blessing, and the guardian. Islamic belief is God is distinctive from Christianity in that God accepts no partners and has no uh, progeny, progeny, right? No Jesus. He's, God is God. He is the all-powerful. He does not need Jesus to help him rule the heavens. Wow. It's pretty deep, eh? So, the belief is summed up in chapter 112 of the Quran, titled al Ikhlas which states, God is one. He is the eternal, the absolute. He does not beget, nor was he begotten. <laughs> and there is none like him. It's true. If he's a God, there should be only a one, right? Right? Muslims believe that the Jewish God is the same God as their God, and that Jesus was a divinely inspired prophet, and was neither God nor his son. Right? The Quran also draws on this. Uh, similitude between Jesus and Adam, the first human being created by God, saying that they were both created from dust by God, who said that the simple word be a rabbit con, whatever that is. Thus, both the Torah and the Gospels are believed to be based upon divine revelation. But most Muslims believe they have been corrupt, both accidentally through errors and transmissions and intentionally been by certain Jews and Christians over the centuries. Muslims revere the Quran as the final uncorrupt word of God, or the last testament, as revealed through the last prophet, Prophet Muhammad. Which is all great. There. You got your, you have your God, right? Which is a, it's the same God, right? But you're, you're Christian, right? You're a Christian. Well, what's the base word? I don't know if you ever did spelling bees or anything like that. If you ever study for a spelling bee, there's always base words. Now, what's the base word in Christianity? What's the base word in Christianity? Let's see if we can figure it out. Christ. Whoa! We did it! <laughs> so, I understand why you're a little mad. Because if Christianity is wrong like Islam says, then zombie Jesus was never a god in the first place. God just put him down here for a reason, right? But, anyway, you got Islam. And you got Christianity. And you got Judaism. You can't prove anything wrong without proving yourself wrong. End of my point.